Welcome to the Reference USA database tutorial. When you log on to Reference USA, you will see several databases from which to conduct your search. For this tutorial, we will focus on the most commonly used U.S. Businesses database. I'm going to go ahead and click on U.S. Businesses, which will take me to a couple of search options. If you want to do a more general quick search for something like a specific state and a specific city like Arlington Heights, You can search for all of the businesses in Arlington Heights, Illinois. As you can see, this will bring up thousands and thousands of results, which is typically more than what our average user is looking for. Most of our users are looking for a more targeted search, and in order to do that, you would click on this custom search tab. And in this left-hand column, I'm going to expand all. This shows me all of the options that I can use to filter my search. Now let's say I wanted to find um, all of the verified businesses who are general contractors in the Arlington Heights area with fewer than 10 employees. We're just going to walk through an example of what that might look like. So I'm going to click here, search only verified business records. Under business type, I'm going to search by keyword SIC code. And the SIC code is, it stands for Standard Industrial Classification Code, which is used by the government to classify industry areas. Since I don't know the SIC code for general contractors, I'm going to go ahead and do a keyword search for general contractors. And when it brings up my results, it will show me what the SIC code is for my category. Right here, that's the SIC code. I'm going to go ahead and select General Contractors. You'll notice it appears in this box below. I want to find the General Contractors in Arlington Heights. I'm going to choose to do that under Geography by zip code. And I'm interested in the General Contractors with fewer than 10 employees. So I'm going under Business Size and I'm going to select, select Number of Employees. 1 through 4 and 5 through 9. I can do more if I like. There are more options. But I want this very small company for this particular list. Up here, in order to view how many records that includes, I'm going to click on Update Count. And you can see there's 36 businesses that fall under these parameters that I've indicated in my filters. Let's say I'm, if I'm not happy with this, I can continue to filter in different ways. Um, over here, I can choose more categories. I can choose a greater range in my zip codes. I can choose larger companies. I can choose only home-based businesses if I want. But for this particular list, I'm going to leave it at 36. And, and I can view my results by clicking on the green button. This is where you see all of your results and your contact information for the businesses that fall under the filters that you indicated in the previous screen. Now you'll notice that there are two pages. Let's say I'm interested in downloading this into an Excel document in order to use as a mail merge. One thing that's really important to remember is that you're limited to 250 downloads at a time. So if your list is greater than 250 results, you will have to download it in two separate email um, Excel documents. So the pr purpose of this list, we only have to download 36, which falls well inside of the 250 limit. You have to select every single re record in order to download them. So you do so by clicking on this top button. We're going to go to the second page, do the same thing here, and all 36 records have been selected. Your next step is to click on download, choose Excel for your file, file format, and leave it on summary for the level of detail. The detailed records is thousands and thousands and thousands of information that you don't necessarily need in order to create a mailing document or a contact document. So leave it on summary for level of detail. Choose download records. Open with Microsoft Excel. Click OK. Yes, I want to open the file now. And there you go. That's your Excel document with all of your mailing information. At this point, you can save this to your computer or on a flash drive and use this in a mailing document to target the businesses that you're interested in targeting or contacting. Thanks for joining us today. Let us know if there's anything we can do to help.